as you are most welcome again on my youtube channel and we are talking about the flowering of renesa now uh, and uh, we are completing our series of the history of english literature if you have not not watched my other videos you can check out 25 or 26 videos total in this series this is chapter fifth so today's uh, discussion is over about again renesa and uh, some its influences its characteristics Okay, Renaissance is attacked as lacking in spirituality. Now he thinks, he means uh, the Renaissance person, uh, the, the writers of that time, uh, he thinks that the whole point of Renaissance was its joy in the living form, means at that point of time they were thinking about, uh, you know, enjoyment and uh, being merry, being gay. If as if the formal and external side did not exist for it. Now here we see some examples like Lily wrote UPS not merely as an exercise in a new kind of prose, but with this serious purpose of inculcating righteousness of the living based of the self control. Okay, so that's why that's why they were not focusing on uh, the spirituality related to God. Now try to you know let's discuss this thing. Uh, what I got from this this paragraph or this book that uh, they were not uh, you know thinking essentially about God and spirituality but they were you know focusing on righteousness of living based on self-control. Sydney wrote Arcadia in the form of the fiction in order to expound the ideal of moral excellence. Okay moral excellence, righteousness these were the uh, you know moral ideals for them Spencer wrote fairy queen With a view to fashioning a gentleman or noble person you can uh, see King Arthur so their ideals were uh, Means the renaissance ideals were different from the medieval ideals Okay so with a view of fashioning a gentleman or noble person in the virtues and noble disposition in the work of Shakespeare, also we find the same moral profundity. Thus, the, char the charge of want of moral profundity. So, here, next thing uh, we can write down. And these things, we should know in order to explain what is or in order to understand what is Renaissance. If we have to explain what is Renaissance, we to know what was Renaissance in English literature. What was different uh, in Renaissance? time then the medieval time or before renesa what were the you know moral ideals and uh, what they were writing about and clear clear things we can find here a new standard of moral edification was considered upon during this period now next one is the influence of spirit, spirit of discovery and adventure in renesa literature and uh, we find lots of uh, you know like uh, that time voices the adventures pilgrimage these these things influenced renesa writing and uh, you know compositions a lot uh, we can see like uh, here uh, hakluts voice and discoveries and uh, purchases pilgrimage these were the things the voyagers in the world of may are the makers of modern english prose and some of the novel pa passages new lands had been discovered new territories opened up new wonders new knowledge new experiences okay new spirituality spirituality in the sense that they were uh, you know they were having new morals uh, for the renesa renesa people so everything was new lands had been discovered new territories were there and uh, so Spencer makes the voyagers his war warrant for his excursion, excursion into fairy, fairyland. So you can uh, read this, uh, you know, a stanza for better understanding what he was thinking. What other examples we can take? We can take the example from uh, Huckless. I'll have them fly to India for gold, ransack the ocean for orient pearl, and they search all corners of the new world new round world for pleasant fruit and princely delicates so let's think about let's ponder over this uh, stanza 
how can someone write down such things if he he has never been to you know any any other place so this was the influence of adventurous personalities this was uh, outcome of uh, voices that's why person is writing like this like we uh, we can say shakespeare about shakespeare's tempest and pericles is the terror of a storm and ship, shipwreck with all its dramatic poignancy we can see so how sh why shakespeare is writing such things just because he has gone through such things he he knows uh, such things because of voices because of adventurous uh, adventurous uh, ideas and uh, this was the spirit of uh, adventure caught from the voyagers got its fullest and finest expression in elizabethan drama now other things we can talk about uh, here the spirit of uh, adventure provided figures of speech metaphors and symbols or to dramatist in the merchant of venice othello uh, and the twelfth night and the tempest testifies testify to his accessibility to its spirit milton is the full of allusion to it saturn's journey through chaos in the paradise lost in the ocean a kissin for a whole series of metaphors drawn from this sea fairy in uh, samson agonist dalia dalila comes in like a stately ship what we are going to understand yahan par hame kya samajhna hai aur ye baat samajhni hai ki jo hum renesa ka ek जो स्प्रिट है उसे समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं रिनेसा राइटर्स वॉइसेस के बारे में क्यों लिख रहे हैं और उनकी जो स्पिरिचुअलिटी है वो किस तरह की है उनके जो एडवेंचर है वो किस तरह के हैं सारी चीजें और फिर फाइनली हम इस चीज के बारे में सोचें वी विल थिंक दैट द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इन सारी चीजों की वजह से जो डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज है वो किस तरह से हो रहा है so this is the key point uh, to understand if you have not watched uh, if you have not uh, you know understand uh, understood this thing you should watch this video again okay i should have told you such things or uh, made the things clear in first but at least this time you can understand ki kehne ka matlab ye hai ki agar aapko samajh nahi aaya ki hum itni der se kya discussion kar rahe hain you should watch the video again and uh, try to understand what i want to make clear okay so spirit of renesa we are trying to catch so in next video we will uh, see the influence of revival of classical learning ye sabse important uh, point hai so tomorrow's video will be on that or uh, next video will be on this topic so bye take care see you in next video good luck for exams